I would like to talk on the D space build fail error. Uh, when we almost complete the installation of D space and at the last movement to uh, install the Maven packages in, in the build directory of D space and at the time of end fresh installation, we receive an error about the build fail. So something like this. This is actually the successful build uh, of when we actually using the Maven project uh, in the DSpace build directory. So this is this is success actually. But a number of time we receive the error something failed. Not this one. <laughs> Here, this is actually the build successful. So we also receive the error of build fail. So we will also encounter this. Uh, in DSpace 6, this is one of the bug. So let me show you where actually I get this information. Uh, several people ask me about this, that build fail. So you can actually see the DSpace 6 installation like this one and the very first link is of the Y key by the official D space and there you can see the installation of D space takes and uh, if you have noticed this it has all the instructions available to how we actually install the D space 6 so we need to have JDK. We will talk this later, but let us talk about the build error. There you can see in the down menu this one. If you have seen this, uh, let me actually this. See this one. Get code version control. So this is uh, what they said. Currently, there's a known bug in DSpace 6.x where a third party Maven module expects Git to be available in order to support the DSpace version command line tools. We are working on a solution with the, within this ticket. So here's a ticket so you can see either it's solved or not. Build, I mean, D space build error when Git is not present, so they need a volunteer. For the time being, you can work around this problem by installing Git locally. So you need to install the Git Hub first before you are going to install the D space. So this ticket actually required volunteer. So if you can work on this, you can be a volunteer with the D space. Anyhow, so let us talk about the installation. So we will install the Git first. So you can see this is actually the Git download. So there you can download the Git on Ubuntu very first. And then we will move forward to the DSpace installation. Here we are. So the latest version is 2.33.0. Okay, so we need to have the git first. No. Anyways, so we need to copy this. Command. Say sudo app get install git sudo apt get install git and it will ask me so i say yes 38.4 mb is actually the size of git so first actually we are going to install the d space and then we will install the uh, Koha 21.05 on the same server machine. Uh, okay. After the Git, let us check the version of Git. 
uh, so we are at the current version or we are on the old version so we can check this it's 2.25 instead of the so I think we are not on the current stable version of git so one it's 2.33.0 so when we come to this module and when we talk about the linux installation see it say for ubuntu let me bigger this size at least okay for ubuntu we need to install okay stop here for Ubuntu or Debian, we need to install Git by using this command, and then we need to add this PPA provides the latest stable uh, upstream uh, Git version. So we can have a latest version by using this PPA. So we need to add this repository. Oh, okay. So we need to add this repository in our Ubuntu system and then we need to update and install git once again. So let us do this I have already written these commands here So you can see this let me copy here And paste on the terminal So press enter to continue and now it's actually going to add this PPA and after that we need to update and install git by using this command. This is for the stable current version of git. So ask me the permission and say 1028 KB is actually the size it's 32% 37% it's going on and it will install the git stable version within my system and then we will check the version it would be 2.33.0. the 2.33.0 so now before installing D space we need to update upgrade and we need to install git and the current version of git by adding this repository and after that let's talk about the D space installation 